welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I can't thank you enough for doing this. Um, it is going to be the most fun. This is, you know, again, 10 dumb questions. And then it's if you guys want to play, great. And I'm ready if you're ready. Ready. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> what are your favorite color of M&M's? Uh, so mine is red because you can make a little lipstick with it. <laughs> <laughs> or you can do it with uh, the brown one for a more <laughs> goth look. <laughs> I'm more, I would say it's, I just need a peanut in my M&M. I don't mind the color, but I do like a peanut M&M more than an M&M. Those are great answers. And there are no wrong answers. But again, you'll see things there. Oh, no score at the end. So, perfect Montreal segue is uh, the plateau or mile end? Um, I really like the mile end for taking a walk. But if you want uh, like day-to-day -day living, it's better in the plateau. And it's beautiful also, so I prefer the plateau. I'm kind of biased. I was raised uh, where we're at right here is maybe two streets off the plateau edge, and I was raised right here. So since it's my my home turf, I'm more plateau than my land, but. Uh, where we live, Laurier Park, is basically the limit. So yeah, it's it's fun to enjoy both. I would say plateau. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I um. I I mean, I always stay downtown because I'm a tourist, but I spend all of my time in the plateau. Um, I go to bagels, etc. And I you came during the summer. I usually come in the fall. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, that's a good time to come. Mm. I try to come in the fall, um, you know, with my daughter. Oh. And, um, you know, we've done photo shoots there. I, I've performed at, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going uh, to. We'll I'm correct gonna you. Good, but the Scalier? Ah, yes, cool. Yeah, it's cl they, they closed down now during the pandemic. They're uh, a yeah, casualty yeah, of the pandemic sad. recently, actually, yeah. We did a photo shoot back. Uh, yeah, 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 that, but yeah, it's a great place. W do you play jazz or? No, I'm a poet. Oh, nice. Uh, I, I, I'm actually, I don't have it in here, but I wrote a, I wrote a, a book of poems about uh, Montreal. Oh, sick. And, um, yeah, so I have a, a great love affair with Montreal. That's awesome. Uh, I have to ask, and Margo, you can, you can chime in here. Um, when's the last time you had escargot? I think it was uh, four years ago. I went to a restaurant in France, and I asked the, all the grossest stuff there. So I also had frog legs with my escargot. Oh, yeah. Do you like it? No. <laughs> it's uh, the texture. Is, I love the taste because it only tastes garlic and butter, but the texture is awful. I do not eat escargot. I had a crazy video of a huge one. I can't find it. I would have showed it to you, but yeah, yeah. no, I don't eat that. I'm, uh, yeah, I love them too much. <laughs> So what, what, I have to ask, what was, what's with the, the, the name? Uh, it's not complicated, but it is, it's stupid. Like I was in Valencia, the V is for Valencia, which is a city in Spain. I was there with my girlfriend at the time and it started raining and we were walking and we started hearing like, <coughs> and then we looked down and there was like hundreds, if not thousands of snails, like everywhere and the other thing i had lost my job then and i was like oh i want to do a band thing so when i came back and i was looking for a name for some reason that got put together the valencia for escargot snail which is so it was a random uh addition of events <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing how i discovered that band is 
again, I forget where you're playing, um, but I had a tradition in Montreal where I would, we would go, like, we would, anytime we heard live music, we would go in. I discovered so many great bands like that. There's Montreal. Let's Go, we used to play a lot. Or Barf Barfly and Let's Go we used to play? I think it was Let's Go, yeah. Let's Go Griff, uh, Ball yeah, Spectacle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what it was, but this is like 12 years ago. That, yeah, that band hasn't existed for at least six years. Mm. Yeah, we. so it was a July 30th. I remember our last show. July 30th, six years ago, basically. And since then, I was like on a more electro. Uh, am I coming out? Yeah, on a more electro vibe. So, yeah, I ditched yeah. the guitar for keyboards. <laughs> Your new sound is great, and I love. I I love it. I've I've been listening to it in doing my research. I've been listening and dancing around. My yeah, music. yeah, sick. So, um, let me ask you this: Have you ever played with fire? Uh, yes. Uh, when I was little, I wanted to become a sa satanist, <laughs> so I would burn all the things that I could find, but <laughs> it was dangerous when I... <laughs> little witch over here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I didn't meet the devil, <laughs> so I stopped. I remember playing with... I, I had a phase, yeah, maybe it was, I guess, the end of elementary school, which is what, like 10, 11? We used to get my sister's hairspray like steal hairspray from each other like all our houses we'd all get like a bottle of hairspray yeah and just like go to like some random hidden park and yeah exactly Sh get them on the wall light the wall on fire you know like a brick wall so it's not too dangerous but yeah we uh, did have some fun with fire <laughs> we still do play with fire <laughs> margo um how do you still how do you feel about satan now uh That was She's a long a time ago. <laughs> 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 no, I, I was burning my uh, Kinder toys. You know, the tiny. So uh, no, that was really just innocent. <laughs> I uh, I have the devil tattooed right on my belly. Let's see it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's actually a drawing. Do you know who Devendra Banhart is? Mm, no, I do not. He's like a folk singer. And okay. Um, It's an art piece by him, but it's good. It's All right, so back to the Montreal thing. Be honest, how do you feel about poutine? I really like it. Yeah. But she's from France, so she, yes. it's like <laughs> it, it was a thing. Where, you know, it's like a t I, l I wouldn't say I love it. Like, I've loved it in my life, but I will rarely eat poutine. Uh, once a year, I'll, like, make yeah. an effort, but... Uh, Since I, but when I was a kid, I used to eat it all the time. When I was 20, I used to get that shit every day. But now, not so much. It's so. an hangover food. Yeah. It's a treat. And yeah, I try to eat my vegetables not fried in the last few years, you know? <laughs> not fried. Yeah, canned. Canned peas. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I see it as like a hangover food. Yeah. yeah. But even that's the thing. I used to... Cause When we first met, I used to get like so what six years ago about. I used to still it was my end phase of poutine and like but the last four years three years, I'm not attracted to junk food at all. And poutine is like the it's the junkiest junk food, so it's like I'm not I don't even crave it anymore, which is a yeah. good thing. Did you try it? Of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably eat it more than you guys. Do they have places <laughs> in Florida that serve that? No, no, I just mean like whenever I go to Montreal. Mm -hmm. It's always like, you know, it's a late night. I will say this is that uh, my sister, my little sister just sent me a pack of St. Dieter's bagels. Those are awesome, yeah. Um, Those are hard to beat. There's some app that you can order from, and it came, and I was like, what is, like, what is who sent this to me? And no, and like it didn't say who it was from, but I was like, oh, I was so happy. But I saw that promotion, yeah, that they were doing that, like send it anywhere by internet or whatever. It's yeah, yeah. Those are hard um, to beat. They're better than the New York bagels, that's for sure. So, <laughs> this is a perfect segue. When's the last time you ate fish for breakfast? Well, it was. I think it was uh, 
when we were getting uh, Christmas presents at the mall and it was the weekend it was kind of early but there was just uh, the sushi shop that was open and I was hungry and it was the morning so that was the last time I had fish for breakfast and I don't do that fish for breakfast it was I, w I got a smoothie or something because nothing else was open but I, uh, yeah I, I'm not a raw fish or fish in the morning mm. guy <laughs> more her flex what do you, what do you so what do you eat for breakfast I have to ask now toast PB and J I'm on a uh, raisin bread toast like for the last maybe month that that's all I eat in the morning yes the factory is yeah, just nearby our John space so every time we come here we smell the raisins and cinnamon and yeah, uh, yeah. Smells awesome. So yes. yeah, I've been on a thing for like maybe two months even. Like I just eat raisin bread in the morning, mm. and a piece of fruit maybe. <laughs> um, what's the best, in your opinion, and you you guys can split it up. The best Canadian band of all time. Ah. Uh, well, okay. We I there's a there's a, there's a wrong answer. Yes, yeah, there's a wrong one for I sure. I know, but the one that that are in my um, she's from MP France Trump. though, so it's not <laughs> a, it's not she doesn't know that many Canadian bands from like the just generally, no. you know. But so. the the one I I can listen to every day is Ostra. I really like her and Trust also. Now it's T R S T. They are both from Toronto. How do you spell it? A U S T R A. Maybe T R S T for trust. What? But it's two different bands. <laughs> I'll have to say, I guess, like for sure, the all time. I couldn't say anything else than Leonard Cohen is for sure the best thing to ever come out of here, and like, I'll argue it, you know, but I don't feel like it. And right now, in the last ten years, best thing i think is pat watson patrick watson he's basically what you know he like for me he's the best canadian it has nothing to do with what i do at all but he's does he live in the plateau yeah he lives or my, or land? my land yeah yes. he's my i think he's my land but <laughs> but yeah i think he those two are the classic yeah and pat watson is just the the basically recent version of the best thing coming out of here i think mm. I love Pat Adventures in Your Own Backyard. Oh wow, yeah. Like favorite songs of all time. Oh yeah, it's uh, those are both really good. I can't wait to look up uh, who Margot. I wrote it down. Ah, cool. Um, have you ever skipped out on a on a bar tab? No, we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Paid it next day or not on purpose, but like, no, not on purpose, <laughs> never. Uh, me, uh, when I was younger, if I was blackout drunk, yes, I would forget. But whenever I could, I would uh, reimburse my friends. But and that doesn't happen anymore. And we don't go a million places. And right. it's, you know, people that we're friends with that work there. And so it's we would rarely yeah. even have the occasion to not feel like total assholes and do that. Yeah, so we, we just... just go to the esco the the bar uh, yeah we that's talked basically about. our scene yeah, yeah. So. no they, we don't do that they know us <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that i'm trying to think what's the bar bar electric or something like that what's that one fufun electric oh fufun electric With yeah the spider yeah yeah on saint catherine that's the downtown one yeah 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 that's a kind of yeah, that where nirvana plays like uh at the beginning right before like they made it yeah that's a fun place yeah I performed poetry there and got booed. Oh, no. that's whack. Why would you <laughs> boo someone? <laughs> it was like a goth night. Okay. It was like they had, the, I don't know if they still have that skateboard ramp. Yeah, yeah, they do. But it's a very young crowd. And that's it. It I always stays the same age. So if you go there yeah. five years later, it's not the same crowd because it's the, 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 you know, people go there from the Cégep right beside. So it's like 18 mm. to 25, <laughs> you know? Yeah, and the bouncers are, are rude too, but it's yeah. a fun place. Yeah, There's you outgrow it quick though. It's yeah. fun to go back, but yeah. Um, <laughs> the last question I have is uh, well, one of the last questions. Um, 
Do you always fill your car's gas tank? Do you have cars? Actually, we don't. We rent no. the car. I like. She has a license, but barely yeah, drives. Yeah, years ago, I'm too scared to drive. I drive. Let's say we rent a car on average once every two months. Well, when it's not pandemic, mm. like once a month, once every two months to just go out of town. But we don't own a car because we live on the plateau, and you can't. <laughs> you can't. It's. When we have it for two days, I I go nuts. Those two nights I have it, I go nuts trying to find parking, and I get mm. a ticket once every fucking two months or something like that. So, yeah, we rent a car, and so we just we fill it up to the max and try to do as much uh, with it as we can until we have to fill it up before we go back. <laughs> that answers my question. <laughs> like, I, it's such a, a a dumb question, and now I realize. Um, I'm like, ah, oh, they're in a city that they don't need cars. But it's yeah. it isn't. It's not. But I like some people. I know people that gas is a thing, an everyday thing for them, for sure. It just us. Oh yeah, it fell on like the two people that we don't have a car at all. Like and we just rent. Montreal is not a good city to have a car. Oh, it's no. a nightmare. Yeah. And uh, but we have subways and yeah, a lot of bus, so it's okay. And you can basically walk everywhere. It's like. <laughs> I always say it's a great like small New York because I'm from I'm from New York ah, and cool. um, I love Montreal because it's like a smaller, cleaner, more efficient New York. A bit less abrasive New York. I love New York too. I've been there, but I wouldn't live there. Like I l really loved it every time I went, but every time my conclusion was. I don't think I would live here unless it was like a super opportunity to be there. Then I'd enjoy it, but mm -hmm. it's super abrasive. Like a gay Montreal is way more low key and chill. Uh. Yeah, the first time I arrived there, I was uh, very surprised because there was basically no one in the on the sidewalks. There was a lot of room, and I'm from a city in, in France uh, where there are a lot of people, and the sidewalks are big just for one person. And if you walk with a friend, you have to walk on the oh. streets. So that's true. That uh, like, if you're not on a big artery in New York, the sidewalk is kind of empty on all the little side. Like, even if your hotel is like not on the biggest street, mm. there's not a lot of people on the sidewalk. Like, mm. yeah. okay. Where where in France are you from? Lille. It's uh, yeah. Lille. Yes, uh, it's at the north. Really, uh, really the north. And it's the fourth big city in France, biggest. So it's Lille. It sounds like the island, you know, like in French would be Lille, but it's not that. It's just one word, L-I-L-E. -L -E. So if you look it up, L -L -E. like uh, L-L-E, yeah. yeah. So it's not like the island, but it sounds like that, like Lille. Thank you so much for explaining because I'm a stupid American. Oh. No, I th I thought for years when she was talking to me, she's like, I'm from Lille. I was trying to look it up and like, I can't find it. I can't <laughs> find it. And it was like, it's not the island, it's Lille. Like, short mm. for Lily, you know? <laughs> um, I, I will say this. Um, you guys have been a treat and you want to... Two things. I would love for you to plug whatever you want to plug. Album anything so it's coming it should be out uh i would say late june to max late july we still have to figure mm -hmm. everything out but we're basically mixing now so we have to start promo in about three weeks so we're gonna have a whole new ep coming out this summer for sure yes. what you're gonna hear now is a song from that yes this this stuff makes me miss live music. So. so we had two shows we canceled at the beginning of COVID, but since then we haven't, we haven't even done online playing for anybody really. Like we did it for ourselves, a few videos or whatever, but we haven't had any performance. And even just this for even one person right now, it's like, oh, it feels kind of good. <laughs> well, it's not for one person. Um, no. For the live thing, but yeah, for everybody out there also, you know, <laughs> for sure. Well, I can't thank you enough. Again, um, when, when this goes live, I'll send it to you. And Perfect. You, you guys are rocking and rolling, and I love your music. And I, I was, I was just vibing out. Thanks, man. Thank Much you. appreciated. That was a really cool interview.
ഇതാര്